now i will be explaining the some of the basic commands of the autocad so initially when you open first you have to set the limits so enter the command limits press enter so it's already there you have to type 210 comma 297 okay now the first command i will explain how to draw a basic line so once you press the line command from here you can draw a line second one is circle you can use this to draw a circle so initially you can set here for the different center radius center diameter i am going to type for the radius so if i give the radius as 100 circle for 100 radius is drawn so if i press center diameter so the same here i will draw so I am giving diameter as 100 so it will be like this to draw a rectangle you can use this rectangle command in spite of using the line command you can use the rectangle directly to draw a rectangle so you can use your polygon it will be asking for the number of sides so if I am giving 4 sides it will be coming like this so polygon for the number of sides I'm going to give a spike so now a polygon with five sides is drawn now I'm going to enter a six eight Now a polygon with six sides is drawn. So moving on to the next comment arc. You can draw an arc with three point. So first point, center, so now continuous we will draw it like continuous. So next one is hatching. Hatching is used for some additional information on hatching of sections is given. Frequently used for under sections of solids. The simplest form of hatching is usually sufficient. For hatching the degree should be preferably 45 degree. So mostly ANSI 31 is preferred. I am pressing that. Fillet is something you use to make a smooth end for of the object. Now I'm going to set the radius as 10. Now we have to select the first object. I'm going to select this line, and now we have to set this line. See, a smooth edge is created. if you want to trim some extra points extra line suppose if you want to trim this extra part and this extra part you have to press trim and first object You have to press this and then you have to press enter and you have if you press like this this part will be deleted so now next I will tell you how to dimension so if you are going, going to measure this dimension you have to press like this and extend it and you can see the dimension of that line here 
so for this inclined surface how to measure the dimension is press the dimension and extend it like this so for measuring the dimension of the circle I have to move dimension here and you have to press the radius if you press like this the radius of the circle can be measured so now if you press diameter the diameter of the circle can be measured see 200 